Hi guys and welcome to this new series of videos that I'm calling Flight Controller Therapy. In this series we'll be looking at um, problems or questions to do with flight controllers that uh, you may not be able to find the answer to or if you can they're not really explained simply enough maybe for people that are just getting into the hobby or for people that are moving in from something else. So in this first video uh, what I'm going to be tackling is UARTs and one of the questions I had when I first started was what the hell is a UART? There's lots of videos about where people are just saying you are this, you are that, but what is a UART? A UART is a universal asynchronous receiver transmitter. And what that basically means is that it's a serial port that can transmit and receive data at the same time. So what we have on our flight controllers are serial ports. I'm just going to highlight them now for you. So what you can see on the flight controller are the letters T and R. These stand for transmitter and receiver, which is in the name UART, obviously. And then a number which will um, match up to a number in the flight controller configurator software, so you know which UART you're talking to. So the next thing we need to work out is how to wire these things up. So what we need is a component. And as if by magic, our GPS appears. So on the GPS module, you also have an RX and TX. There's only one on this because there is only one UART on the GPS. So what we need to do is take the TX, which is the transmitter on the GPS, and connect it to the receiver on the flight controller. And then we connect the transmitter on the flight controller and connect that to the receiver on the GPS. That way they can both talk to each other and it's all wired up correctly. The last thing I'd like to talk about is UART inversion. The way to think about inversion is if data is a set of zeros and ones, you'll have a something like 1101. If that's how it's communicating over a regular UART, if it's inverted, it will actually be 0010. So you can understand that an uninverted UART and an inverted UART don't really get on talking to each other. So the only company that I use or, or I know of and use their products of that uses inverted UARTs is FreeSky. So <clears throat> their, their um, receivers will be sending out an inverted signal and listening for an inverted signal for their smart port uh, telemetry protocols. So what you have on certain flight controllers, like this F405, is um, an S-Bus pad, which is labelled SBS on this. And what SBS is, is the R2 um, UART receiver, but with a hardware inverter in between that and the processor. So when the inverted signal comes into the S-Bus um, pad, it goes through the hardware inverter, which makes it a normal uninverted signal, which the flight controller can understand. Uh, the 7 Series actually have inverters built in, so every single UART can be inverted or uninverted, it doesn't matter. Um, you can just set up that up in the flight controller software. I mean, on some things it's already done for you, so... Like if it says use UART2 for FreeSky, then that's already inverted in the firmware. There's one last thing to mention, which is where things get slightly confusing. And again, it's our friends at FreeSky. This is the manual for the FreeSky R9MM receiver. And what you might notice is on the ports on the left of the receiver, you can see the bottom one actually says inverted S port. Now, S port is smart port, their um, telemetry protocol. And Free Skies seem to not want to admit that their protocols are inverted themselves. So they then go to confuse people by saying converted S port. Now, what you need to remember is S port is an inverted pro uh, protocol. So to invert S port actually makes an uninverted uh, protocol. <laughs> so it's a really backwards way of thinking about it. But basically, if you use the inverted S port pro, uh, port pin, you can put that to a standard uninverted UART um, transmitter, and it will be fine. 
So yeah, if if you see inverted either S bus or S port on Free Sky, that actually means it's uninverted as far as general UARTs are concerned. So that wraps up UARTs. If you have any questions, uh, leave them down below and I'll try and get them answered. Again, if you want general help with uh, flight controller stuff, there's the INAV Fixed Wing group on Facebook, which is really handy. If you want uh, general RC uh, chat and stuff like that, there's the Fixed Wing RC Rebels group on Facebook also. So go and check those two groups out. Um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, like and subscribe would be great. And if you would like updates when the new contents are about, press the bell icon. Uh, see you on the next one when we discuss more flight controller therapy. Thanks. Bye.